was built, it was intended that the train would always go north and connect to the other parts of the metro system. So this project will provide that connectivity, another north-south connection, without having to go into downtown LA. One of the challenges for the Crenshaw LAX line and tying into the existing green line was getting through that. So it, it's a really tight squeeze. We called it threading the needle. We had to be below the Caltrans 105 freeway with the minimum clearance of 15 feet. And then we also had to be above Imperial Highway below, which is a roadway bridge that has trucks. One of the requirements of being next to the runways, we had to be below ground next to the runways. For the two runways that we're right next to, we had to put 500 foot lifts on top that are able to sustain aircraft loading. So in the event, if an aircraft were to overrun the runway, they would be able to safely pass overhead of our light rail train. What you have here behind us is uh, one of our iconic structures for the project. We call it the I-405 bridge. A um, couple of unique features about the bridge you can see in its main span, which goes over the 405. It's got a nice parabolic shape to it. Uh, a couple of things that we did to help to uh, lessen the impacts to the uh, community and the surrounding motorists are we worked with Caltrans and Metro to redesign the false work temporary supports for the bridge and utilize the existing BNSF railroad bridge to essentially crib off of that in efforts to avoid uh, a lot of the impacts that would have otherwise been necessary for not only demolishing of the old bridge but also the uh, installation of the new false work for construction of the new light rail structure. Some of the other uh, design enhancements we're able to do is maximizing the main span and uh, being able to, to shift those bridge columns and foundation supports to outside the limits of the current 405 freeway. Uh, again, reducing impacts to the traveling public would have otherwise been a column and foundation significant interruption right in the middle of the 405 median. Some other accommodations that we worked with Metro and Caltrans to build into our structure um, are the uh, provisions for future 405 widening. We were able to reduce our column depth so that our new columns actually protruded into the ground at the level of the existing 405. That'll be a great help to uh, Caltrans later on when they uh, partake with any future 405 widening. They'll be able to utilize the columns as part of our foundation supports for this bridge. Uh, currently we're standing in underground cut and cover section three, which is a 4200 cut and cover section in the middle of Crenshaw Boulevard. Uh, as you can see, this is one of the toughest challenges on this project to construct. Workers have been hard at work now for almost a year and a half constructing this uh, structure under Crenshaw. Behind me you can see the uh, gas proofing and water membrane that protects the structure should there be any leaks in the future. You can also see the EFCO Traveler System. It's an innovative technique we uh, combined with one of our form suppliers to pour the majority of the 3,000 feet of cut and cover section that's inside that encompasses the 4,200 foot of structure. Uh, slip forming approximately 50 foot sections of cut and cover at a time. Crews are now finishing up the structural concrete and we'll be moving into the track and systems work here in the near future. Approximately 70 foot soldier piles went down in the center of Crenshaw Boulevard with business faces 15 to 20 foot away. So a lot of traffic coordination and planning also went into the construction of this structure. As I said, we're wrapping it up and getting ready to restore the streets above the structure. We'll be doing the other parts of connection later, connecting power and communications and train control. And as you can see, like physically, we're connecting the tracks. And we'll, once we get that underway, then we'll be able to go to the next step of testing our trains.